All right, so we're going to start out today doing note cards. The first note card is over sales. So write that on the front side. Then on the back side, we're writing um, sales are the building blocks of all living things. Uh, Grace, what's the next thing you've got wrote in your notes about sales? All living things are made up of one or more cells. All living things are made up of one or more cells. All living things are made up of one or more cells. All right. Mr. Jones, what's the next thing you got in your notes about cells? New cells come from existing cells through division. New cells come, which we're not going to put that down because we're going to talk about mitosis, which is how they divide and stuff. But that is important. But we're not going because we'll put that on our mitosis part. Okay. So what else do you got down? What comes after that? All living organisms are made of cells. Okay. All, and we already basically have that covered. What else do we have down? I think we go into talking about what? Yeah, yeah, the types of cells. So cells, all living things are made up of one or more cells, right? Do not get rid of your cell card. Just set it off to the side. Get a new note card. And you're going to write un union cellular. It should be in your notes. When we do note cards, I don't spell. It should be in your notes. If you don't have your notes, that's because you didn't take them. Oh, U-N-C-E-L-L-I-A-R, I think is how it's spelled. U-L-A-R. I forgot I had many kids here didn't have anything in his notes. Okay, so and what does union cellular mean? Only has what? How many cells does it have? One. 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 Means, you need to know that means that it is living organisms with one cell. A lot of times they're referred to as one celled living organisms. So can we just write down a single celled organism? Yeah. yeah. And we talked about it in class, and we had two examples. Uh, caliber, what's one of them? Bacteria. Bacteria is one. And Miss Dixon, what's the other one? Should it be in your notes? Put your hands down, guys. Okay, can you help her out with the other one? We talked about it in detail in class. We've used it in the lab. We use it to make bread with. Yeast. Yeast. Those are probably the two most common that people know about, that you know about, and that you hear a lot about. One cell organisms is uh, bacteria and yeast. And you'll need to have those in your notes because you know me. One of the questions on the test could be, give me an example of a unicellular organism. Okay. All right. Slip that card off. The next card needs to have multicellular written on the front of it. Multicellular. So it's spelled just like the unicellular, except you put multi in front of cellular instead of unit. Multicellular is all living organisms. Made of more than one cell. If you're made of more than one cell, you are a multi-organism, a multicellular organism. How many cells does the human body have? Your hand went up first. Thirty trillion. Thirty trillion. That's not 30 million or 30 billion. 
It's 30 trillion. At any given time, we have 30 trillion cells in our body because our cells die, right, and reproduce their cells. So. All right, so the next card would be uh, blastus, blast, blastosis. Yeah, blastosis. Matthew, what do you have in your notes that that is? Somebody spell that out for the, for the new student, please, for quick. All right, y'all, when you're spelling a word for somebody, you give them, like, two or three letters at a time. And then, okay. Did you get it? All right, so, Matthew, what do you have in your notes? A group of cells surrounded by an outer shell. A group of cells, what? Surrounded by an outer shell. Surrounded by an outer cell. And where do we find that type of cell at? The middle. Huh? The middle? The middle of what? An atom. The nucleus. No. Huh? The nucleus. No. The shell. Okay, so when we are conceived, we start out as how many cells? One. Was I right, Julian? And that cell divides into more cells, and it's contained within that outer shell, which is called the blastocyte. We talked about it in class and on the video. Right? So where do we find that cell? The embryo. Well, no, because it didn't turn into an embryo yet. It's in the reproduction system, right? In the uterus. Right? Isn't that where the egg starts out? Yes. All right. So then it goes from that blast to what? You can't say an embryo. Okay? So that multiple little ball, remember I explained it to you as a ball with a bunch of little cells inside of it, develops into the embryo. What is an embryo? Like a baby. Embryo is an unborn child. An embryo is what we call the child living in the uterus, right? It doesn't become a baby or a child until it's born, in theory. And we're not going through that part about whether you're alive or not, yes. A fetus is when the embryo is in the more advanced state, in the older, in the more more months along. Like like Jennifer, her baby's due the first of February, and hers would be considered a fetus, a fetus now. Fetus. But now sometimes embryo and fetus are those those words that they use interchangeable in the science world. All right, so has everybody got that down? Starts out as one cell, then it becomes a ball of little cells, and then they become an embryo, an embryo which is an unborn child or, or a baby in the uterus. All right, so then after we talk about that, then what do we have? We have... Hmm. Yeah, the membrane protects and feeds the baby. This all needs to go on this one card because it all kind of ties together. Because that membrane is not a cell membrane. That's there's, The reason, like when we talk about the cell membrane, we will call it a cell membrane because there's more than one membrane in your body that has more than one job that it does. Okay? So then, what did we talk about? We go into um, stem cells, right? Which I think is the last thing we did. Yeah. Am I right? I had another page. Huh? Yeah. What? What did you have? 
remember we don't take we don't make note cards on all the notes that we take is what i think is and you know so now we're going to stem cells So your next card will say stem cells. Where do we find stem cells? They are found in the umbilical cord, the baby, right? But um, where else do we find them? Matthew, you haven't answered a question today. In the bone marrow. In the bone marrow. That's the big place that we find our stem cells is in the bone marrow and the stem cells is what makes us what grow right that's when you find it in the bone marrow because how do you grow your bones grow right and the rest of your body grows along with it all right so stem cells are most commonly found now they can be other places but the most common most knowledgeable place is in the bone marrow they help us to grow. Uh, we do find stem cells in the umbilical cord. And what do we, and then there's something we use stem cells for. Okay? Uh, like giving to other people, I don't know. To help with what? What are we trying to fight? Bone disease. Bone disease, cancer, stuff like that, right? So stem cells, you need to know, you need to know that stem cells are used to help cure cancer, different types of cancers. They do stem cells, transfusions. You can donate your stem cells. It's done different than donating blood, but you can donate stem cells. And um, a lot of people will take the stem cells from their baby's umbilical cord and freeze them so that they'll have them later if their child becomes sick. And a lot of people donate those, that part of their stem cells for research. And you don't have to write all that down, but the research, uh, they're trying to see if they can rejuvenate the stem cells in people that are paralyzed. So there's a lot of research going on with that. All right, so that should have took care of Monday's notes or Wednesday's notes, right? So we're ready for today's notes. All right. All right, so we're still taking notes over sales. So you can just start where we left off at the other day, or you can start on a new page. That's up to you. You start on a new, new page, you need to put sales continued, and today's date, and today is the 10th. We won't get through this whole thing because first hour didn't get through the whole thing because of all the interruptions and stuff. But so we're just going to go as far as we went with first hour. That way, I don't have people classes behind. Right. 
Cells are the smallest living units of an organism. All cells have three things in common, no matter what type of cell they are. All right, all cells have three things in common. Doesn't matter what type of cell they are, whether they're a plant cell, an animal cell, an alien cell, it doesn't matter, they all have three things in common. The first one being... All cells have a cell membrane which separates the inside of the cell from its environment. All right, all cells has a cell membrane. And we already know that it separates the cell from its environment, right? We all we know that a cell's already all self-contained, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, we know that the cell membrane job is to let the good nutrients in and keep the bad stuff out, right? Because we took that down the other day. Okay, so what does a plant cell have that an animal cell doesn't have? A cell wall. Okay, so you need to remember that. You need to remember that a plant cell has a cell wall and a cell membrane. And an animal cell only has the cell membrane. Okay? Cytoplasm, which is a jelly... So the second part that all cells all have are cytoplasm. And we know from taking notes the other day that that's like a jelly-like consistency. And um, it has a job. What is its job? What does it do? Okay. It holds everything inside the cell in place. That's right. And it's kind of like a jello, a jelly like or a gel consistency. You like fluid and DNA, which is the cell's. And then all cells have DNA. Now, notice it did not say that all cells have a nucleus, it says that all cells have DNA. Okay? Just because the DNA, the DNA does live in the nucleus. But there is cells that don't have a nucleus, and we're going to talk about those in a little bit. So when I ask for the three things, I don't want you to put down uh, cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. Because nucleus isn't going to be the right answer, even though that's where the DNA lives, okay? Yes? So they all have DNA? They all have DNA, whether they have a nucleus or not. Genetic material. There are two broad categories of cells. The first all right, two categories of cells that we're gonna that we're gonna learn. There is more, and you'll learn more of those when you get into higher level science classes, but for now we're learning the two. These two. Which category is eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells is the first one. Eukaryotic cell is one of the two types. And they have organelles. Remember when you're taking notes to space between when we go from one thing to another, it just makes it easier to study than if you just write it all together. So everybody got this part down so far? Which include the nucleus and other special parts. All right, so their organelles includes the nucleus and other special parts. Eukaryotic cells are more advanced, complex cells. You need to know that eukaryotic cells are advanced, complex cells. Okay? They're advanced, complex cells. Which are the type of cells that we are made out of.
such as those found in plants and animals. The second category is prokaryotic cells. All right, so the next cell, skip a line, that we're gonna talk about is prokaryotic cells. So right, prokaryotic cells. They don't have a nucleus. They don't have a nucleus. Or membrane enclosed organelles. Now it's not saying they don't have a cell membrane, right? It's not saying that, right? It's saying they don't have a nucleus or membrane enclosed organ organelles. And we will talk more about what organelles are and stuff. Everybody got this part? Yeah. Miss Dixon, you got this part? Yeah. You might want to set up straight in that chair so I know you're working. Thank you. Anthony, you got this part? Or membrane enclosed organelles. They do have genetic material. Now notice they said it says they do have genetic material. You need to have that in there. So genetic material is what? Your what? DNA. DNA. But it's not in, contained in a nucleus. Now why isn't there DNA or genetic material in their nucleus? Because they don't have a nucleus. There you go. Can't be contained in there if it don't have one. All right? but it's not contained within a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells are always one cell or you. All right, prokaryotic cells are one cell or unicellular organisms, such as bacteria, yeast. Why you said that's what the other class is stuck on. Which we don't even hardly cover much. Everybody got that? Unicellular organisms, such as bacteria. So, and that's what we're stopping at today. Because that's as far as we got in the other class. So you are going to utilize this time working on something that you owe another teacher. If you owe me work, that's what you're working on at this time. Get your iPad out, get Friday's lesson up, and get started on it. You can start on what you need to work on. Chase, you start on your stuff. I think you have to. Uh, when, in a little bit, we will. When my buzzer goes off, we'll put our notebooks up. Huh? I don't care. You have two bell ringers that you need to do. Uh, if I was you, I would ask uh, one of my...